Today, we'll briefly talk about why the edge needs to be intelligent and the cloud uh, hybrid. Now, the edge used to be structures, right? Uh, retail stores, factories, and for example, at factories, right? We were working with ABB to put, where they put these vibration sensors on every rotating machine, collecting data about the health of those machines. And imagine, right, uh, hundreds and thousands of them and sending all that data back uh, to the cloud, perhaps through uh, a wide area network. And then to, uh, they monitor and do preemptive maintenance. But then things changed, right? Uh, the edge started to become more and more in terms of quantity, right? To ships and aircrafts being edge collecting data, to you know automobiles, cars, right? And in, in and then going towards autonomous cars, even more data, to even drones with sensors on them. Imagine how many of them out there, uh, and with cameras with uh, so much data being collected, and all the way to uh, you know hundreds uh, to billions of people. Uh, billions of people carrying cell phones to even larger quantities, right, of light bulbs. So you can buy a $10 light bulb today that uh, um, has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in it. So with this increasing quantity, the change in what the edge means, right, uh, one estimate puts it that by 2025, just two years from now, three years from now, there'll be 55 billion of these out there. And by that time, you'll have more, more than half of the data created being on the edge, no more on the cloud side, but more than half on the edge side. Now, when that happens, you may not be able to afford to bring all that data back to the cloud. Therefore, it means that you need to have the edge to be intelligent in order to, for example, decide what to send back to the cloud and what to not send back and keep on the edge side, number one. Number two, when you keep those on the edge side, what to process and what not to process on the edge. And even all the way to eventually doing machine learning at the edge. Today, we have machine learning at the cloud side, but eventually with so much data landing on the edge side, you may need to even do for AI machine learning at the edge. Now, this is where, this is the edge side, right? What happens uh, on the cloud side? Well, we did a survey Right, of 8,600 decision makers recently, and almost 40% of them are re-evaluating their cloud strategy, particularly their public cloud strategy. And we asked them why. 32% right. of those said it because public cloud, they give, give up too much control over to the public cloud side. They don't have enough control. 37% uh, say that they don't have enough flexibility to be able to become an agile company, right? Because they give, perhaps also because they give too much control over to the public cloud company, or they are not meeting their security needs. And the biggest proportion, 42% of those said, it is because of cost. And there are other surveys uh, coming up right now that are pointing to public cloud cost also. So all this is pointing to the fact that the cloud needs to be hybrid. It doesn't, it doesn't mean only public cloud. It must also include, in a hybrid situation, private cloud, colo, you know, on-prem, and so on. So the cloud needs to be hybrid and the edge intelligent. Now, this all this means a lot of development that we need to do organically and also acquisitions, as, as you have heard from Jim and Phil uh, talking earlier. Let's have a look at them. In terms of acquisitions, right, uh, on the Intelligent Edge, you have Aruba, powerful Wi-Fi, right? Now, as you have also heard from Jim and Phil, uh, augmented now strongly with private uh, 5G so that you can go outside of the, of the buildings uh, and expand uh, to longer distances. Right and acquisition RSA gives them give us the foundational wireless technology that supports this all. And then on the hybrid cloud side, you have Upstream and Quattro Labs acquired for the management of cloud, and then these four companies uh, acquisition for the analytics, the all important analytics on the cloud side. Right now we have Packetum and Determined AI recently, where Packetum is for the tracking of the training 
and determine AI for the scaling of the training of these large AI models and the uh, systems uh, companies that was that were acquired, right? And CTP Red Pixie for the consulting uh, services, yeah, professional services. Now, you have this left column and the right column, and you need to bridge it, right? So there is Silver Peak that provides a software-defined WAN, wide area network, that bridges hybrid cloud to the intelligent edge. Then you have Plexi and MapR that provides a data fabric that bridges hybrid cloud to the intelligent edge. And then you have Blue Data that gives us container capability. What it does, it actually allows you to have what does is allows you to have the uh, a computing module that can span across all of hybrid cloud, right? Maybe public, uh, private, on-prem, or colo, all the way to the intelligent edge. A single compute module, right? Containers. So it's very important to have containers uh, capability here, and we get that with blue data. And finally, uh, as was also mentioned by, by Phil and Jim, uh, you've got access for security that is connected with these other uh, security products on the intelligent edge and hybrid cloud side. So, and finally, Juniper networks, right? The, on the technology side, the, in, uh, the, in, the declared intent uh, for the acquisition of, um, of uh, Juniper, on, on the technology side, you have the uh, AI native secure networking capability on the hybrid cloud side that we eventually also span to distributed in, uh, data centers uh, on the intelligent edge side. They also have this strong capability on simplification of uh, their data center operations. And they also have a wide area network that connects hybrid cloud to intelligent edge. So for that, uh, uh, we look forward to. So you can see there is a lot of integration going on with all these uh, acquisitions. And in order to shield our customers from all these complexities, HPE GreenLake, one experience, edge to cloud.